Our presentation discusses the demolition of this uh, central span here. It's a viaduct and it's by a railway system, so we have to be very careful with the demolition. And let's go through some of the difficulties they had. So there's a very busy road and there's a railway here. So they didn't want to disrupt that for the local community, but also the viaduct itself was defective. So it had weak half joints and a defective post-tensioning system. So they had to, again, just be very careful to make sure that it was taken apart um, you know, with a lot of effort and time to make sure that nobody got hurt in the process. Um, and the challenging nature of its demolition was one of the reasons why we chose to present on this, because it just stood out to us how much work we had to put into it. Um, so another reason that we were interested in this was because of its repetition of the term auctioneering, which we hadn't heard of before. So auctioneering is a process where engineers come together and make out many different methods for just one project and they'll choose one at the end. So we just uh, are going to ask people for an estimate of how many methods you think they would have made for just to take out this relatively small central span, just any guess? Three. I think it's a bit higher, so they, they did 26 in total, um, just for this, not even a full bridge, just the central span. So the top one here was quite a complicated one. It would involve taking the span apart gradually and removing it like from the top, whereas this one, the plan was to put a platform under and then break the bridge down. So this would have been very disruptive. Whereas the top one, it's a, there's a, it's a very fancy one, a cable stage rotating truss gantry. Um, in the end, they went for something more similar to the top one um, because what they did was they took the bridge apart um, in reverse sequence to how they put it together. Uh, which would be kind of similar to what they did here and very different to this option here. Um, so in, with the method that they went with, they managed to mitigate all those challenges I mentioned. And so it was a very successful process, um, which I think would interest the structural profession as a whole, um, because it was such a challenging, um, a challenging project and they managed to do it successfully and it shows how important rigorous, detailed and thorough planning is in order to make sure that you have an effective project. I, I mainly focused on the demolition process itself. Um, I found it interesting because of how complex it was. Uh, they had to um, Cut the uh, concrete deck into small, small pieces here, um, and what they used was a diamond wire cutting method, um, and then this wasn't possible uh, with by only closing the the road and the railway underneath. So what they had to do was um, lift up a mobile protection deck, and that was lifted using two 300 foot cranes, and um, this actually allowed uh, the operatives to get up and cut it as well as uh, providing safety to the publicly accessible areas below from uh, debris falling. And um, yeah, and this is the lifting gantry here that they used to actually lift the concrete decking after it was cut. Uh, it's comprised of two girders and two carriages on top that, um, that can lift the um, concrete. And um, yeah, the... Um, <coughs> Final beam was removed in um, August 2020, and this was followed by the, um, the removal of the first the lifting gantry and then the um, mobile protection deck. Um, yeah, it proved to be a real uh, collaborative effort, and there was four um, it, there was four different design organisations, four technical approval authorities, and three major contractors working on the project. So, it, um, from the perspective of the structural engineer inside. Proved to be very interesting. Um, 
you know, displays the variety in the structural engineering profession really um, as, as mainly things, well, I think anyway it would be, if you think of construction, you wouldn't be thinking of demolition too much, so I found it interesting from that side of things. Um, yeah, that was quite refreshing, so uh, that's it really. Thank you for listening. Thanks very much. A bridge just comprised of arches in between, like each um, each uh, span facing an arch instead of like flat bridge or any sort of other bridge. Um, could you define it different ways? To me, what it is a multi span structure. So, if you look at a bridge carrying traffic or water, and you have a large number of spans, you know, as opposed to one. Any other questions? Like what kind of, kind of stood out to me is, in many ways it relates to this module in some ways, or Genesis, but how you build and fabricate something is really important in these careful considerations. And something like this, where you're in a developed economy, where you have an infrastructure environment that you need to replace something, um, the method as to how you take out becomes quite complex. It's not a green deal site, you can't do what you wish. There are existing roads and railways and people living nearby, so it requires quite a lot of engineering work to ensure you can carry this out in, a pro in an appropriate way. And you're thinking as much about the logistics as you are about maybe the physics of the member sizing. And, yeah. So to me, I think it's good that this module begins to get you thinking Well done. Um, so, group.